Welcome to the third episode in our Oman series. We are Kim and Del Hogg, sharing films of our road trips, hikes and outdoor adventures from around the world with you, along with detailed travel guides over on our blog, goingthewholehog.com, to help you get out there and explore these same places for yourself. Join us as we continue our off-road camping adventure through the western Hajar Mountains, an area just a couple of hours north of Muscat with so much to explore, including historic villages, slot canyons, wadi pools, and some of the most challenging 4x4 tracks in the whole country. Oh no, it's not. Wait, there's a goat up the hillside. Where? Just in between the trees there, there's a black goat on the hillside. See where the trees' branches meet and they make a circle? Oh yeah. It goes right through the middle of the circle. Is that what we're hearing? Well, Seems no. Earlier I heard birds doing a trick. But no, it sounded like munching. Yeah, yeah. The, the goats, it's like the hooves on the, the gravel, oh, okay. on the gravel kind of tumbling down the hill. I guess the sound travels here. around the tree. <laughs> we were just uh, having a wee wander around the southern entrance to Little Snake Canyon and you can get through to the northern part where we are now but you have to swim like through a pool and with all our camera gear and stuff we don't really want to have to do that. So we've driven around to the north and I believe it's only like a 500 meter walk to one of the best pools. So fingers crossed we can get a wee swim today because it didn't happen yesterday. Need to freshen up a bit then.
That is chili. So people having I. a picnic here in the wadi bed. It's just what I was thinking. It was like this bit's ringing bells. Yeah. Even the bumpiness of getting down <laughs> to this track. What a fantastic day of mountain driving we had today. But the car is absolutely filthy. And we have to do this every night so that our clothes don't end up covered in all of this every time you reach in and out of the boots, AKA our kitchen. Pantry. Pantry, fair enough. Um, and now we have got an amazing camp spot looking right up at Jebel Shams. We've only ever seen it from up there, so it's nice to get a different angle. I'm sure it'll look gorgeous in the morning, and I'm sure we'll show you. I'll be another 6 a.m. alarm bell. Ah, oh, it's like proper stuck on now. Oh, this is disgusting. We really need to get a proper clean done. Maybe when we get to Nizwa. We decided just to stay put today, seeing as we've got this lovely camp spot with lots of shades, which is what you need if you're going to have a rest day. 
Probably get some uh, washing done, some clothes washing, wash my hair. It's pretty minging. Catch up on some laptop stuff, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's just gone 12 o'clock and I'm ready to go for my first nap. <laughs> Although I think the tent First nap? How many are you having? Well, at least one. Um, so it's definitely the first one. Probably in the tent so I can lie down, although it will be quite hot. That might be good, might not be, I don't know. You can open the flaps, get a wee breeze. Mm. much of this fire with us spikes you've got to be careful I'm missing the big chunky chunks that we had at that little mini canyon camp this is all just like little twigs that burn well but they just go so quickly you're constantly up and down tending your fire you can't just sit there and enjoy it tissue in here. Oh, no way. I've never really done anything like this, Del, but I, I think it's going to work. Some grilled cheese and tomato sandwiches. Oh, I should have burnt it. <laughs> okay, that was too close to the fire. I burnt it. That's your bit. There we go. It's like I never burnt it. Our toasties. Mm. Mm. Simple but very delicious. It's quite fun to be trying these new things, Del. I'm excited about it. I never get excited about cooking. Next up, I am going to flame grill some red peppers, Del. They are going to be delicious. Batteries on both our laptops are totally dead, so in order to use them we have to have them plugged in. And uh, we need to back up some footage, so we need to run the car battery to charge these. Uh, sparingly, of course, because it's not a good idea to have it running for uh, a lengthy period of time. Half an hour max. Burn on my bum, it's fine. It's I should not. have um, put some candle wax on these. Let me go on going.
means quite a bit higher this morning. I think it's First of that orange glow. I can't see the rabbit pounding rice cake from this angle. You can see it when it rises. Mm. Can you see it? I, I, I never know what I'm looking at when people say the, uh, the man, the rabbit pounding rice cake. I don't know. He clearly didn't pay attention in Korean kindergarten classes. Well, I know that's what they say, but like I just look at the moon and I, I see a, a bright object with some shapes on it. You're so unimaginative. No, I, the, the longer I stare at it, the more it hurts my eyes. Because you're getting old. <sighs> you're going to inspect soon. You? Me? I've already had a lifetime of specs, pal. Like, I've got perfect vision. I just, it just hurts my eyes to look at a bright object for long. <laughs> it's not even that bright. Feeling nice and rested and ready to tackle some more mountain roads today. Telling you, slight right, Dylan. We all heard it. Well, <coughs> now I've slid right. Actually, now I've turned sharp left.
Um, first stop is Weedma Village, which is about 500 year old settlement tucked into the cliffs below Jebel Shams. The setting is absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, it's mostly abandoned these days though, after the water supply dried up, making it impossible to farm all the terraces that cascade down the hillside here. Supposedly there is one family that still lives here, although during school term they live in the town below because that road was a bit hairy and you wouldn't want to have to drive that every day. So let's go and have a look around. providing a little bit of shade, eh? Mm. This couscous has lasted two nights and one dinner. No, two dinners and one lunch. That's pretty impressive. Even if you think it tastes just average, Del. Mm. The water tank going up. He'll have it cleared soon enough. Meanwhile, we can enjoy these lovely views of the terraces, Del. Mm
yeah also my heart's in my mouth so <laughs> need a little break this is the first road in Oman that I've actually been a little bit freaked out on Oof. think how the driver feels oh my god I hope you feel confident I feel a wee bit of puke in my mouth right now <laughs> Looking back down on that road looks absolutely mental. Like it's almost a sheer cliff with just a little sliver coming round. Is that is that why I feel like I want to puke right now? <laughs> oh. Crazy, crazy. Just oh. taking it slow and easy though, and it's it's fine. What a drive. I mean, this bit's normal. It's just that bit to get round the cliff. Jeez, oh. Some real steep sections as well. I think a bit of low gears on the way back, Del. Terraces are lovely. Mm -hmm. Don't have much sun left. No. And now we turn around and just go back the same way. Yeah. Oof, back on that road. Really, Hen? <laughs> Straight off the cliff. <laughs> For a second, you're just like, where the hell does the road go? I feel like this is definitely slower on the way down. I'm less scared on the way down though. I think also because you're in L4. Hello campsite, our old friend. I thought we were saying goodbye to you this morning. Yeah, I did not think that we'd be staying in the one camp spot for three nights. It's just a very convenient spot, isn't it? Yeah. And it's really quite beautiful. What a fantastic day driving around these crazy mountain roads around Wadi As Satan. In my head, I always say Satan, but that's probably not what it is. And we didn't spot any other camp spots 
that were better than this so we're just back here for the third night in a row but at least you know what to expect you know it's like coming home and we've not been to a shop for about six days so easy dinner tonight a bit of pesto pasta a classic hog dish and uh there we getting on that tent just on it oh, just on it i'm not on it i'm just going on it right now you're, you're going on it you're not getting on it I'm about to pitch the tent right now. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Uh. Thanks for following along on our trip. We hope you enjoyed part three and we'll be back for more in the next episode where we turn our boot into a hair salon, ascend 1,200 metres on the dramatic Wadi Bani Auf Road for jaw-dropping views back over the mountains and head to the Niswa region to visit a couple of fascinating old mud brick villages. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out. And if you like this film, please show your support with a thumbs up and a comment to help us grow the channel and keep doing what we're doing. And if you're planning your own Oman adventure, don't forget to head over to our blog, goingthewholehog.com, where you'll find detailed Oman road trip itineraries, practical tips and travel guides. Or drop us an email if you'd like help planning a custom itinerary just to suit you. Until next time, cheerio.